welcome to another episode of Amanda Star's Celebrity Perfume Reviews. So, I'm finally back after a very, 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 very long time not being here. Let's see. The last video I uploaded to you guys was, let's see. Let's pull up my magical YouTube app and we'll find out what time I... Last video you guys got from me was Moonlight on September 15th. So, you guys have been not had me for... A while. Um, and there's some reasons, and I'm going to explain some of those reasons, and I know there's no excuses, but shit happens. So, um, uh, first thing is, I got a new job and left another job, uh, at the end of, or at beginning of September, end of, or beginning of October, kind of all that whole month of September. So, even though you guys got Moonlight, it was kind of in the middle of a whole bunch of shit storms starting to happen. So, Got a new job, left another job, so we started doing, you know, just dealing with all that. And then, I was going to review two fragrances for you guys. One of them was going to be Katy Perry Indie, and the other one was going to be Beyonce Shimmering Heat, which is right there. Um, and I decided not to review these fragrances for two reasons. One, Beyonce Shimmering Heat just kind of fit into this mold because it came out at the same time, and... The team that does, um, Katy Perry also does Beyonce, so I, whatever. But, I do have Indy, and I refuse to review this because, um, a while ago, back when Indy first, 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 first got announced, um, you guys may have noticed I posted a picture of it on my Instagram and on my Twitter and all of my other social medias and was contacted directly by Katy Perry's fragrance team, um, and asked to please remove my pictures, um, any information I had posted about Indy as they weren't ready to announce it, which is fine. I understand, like, there's times when you can't announce a fragrance at a certain time, and having other people announce it just hurts the fragrance, and I understand. So, I wanted to, one, make sure that they were truly the Katy Perry fragrance team, and two, I wanted to make sure I wasn't going to get screwed over. Spoiler, I did. Um... And basically, I mean, they were the real Katy Perry fragrance team, but basically they promised me that um, they would send me fr free product to review the perfume before anybody else got it, and that, you know, I could bring you guys a review. And I'm not mad that I didn't get free product because it's whatever. I mean, I was going to buy the fragrance to myself anyway to have in my collection. It just bothers me that they contacted me to remove the image, and then I did so because they asked me to, and then they just fucked me over and basically didn't send me anything. They stopped responding to my emails, they stopped responding to Twitter messages, and it's just a really bad way to do business. Don't ask somebody to remove something and promise them something, and then don't do it. It's just my personal opinion. So, that is why you guys haven't gotten a review of Indie or Shimmering Heat. Shimmering Heat kind of just got thrown into that. Beyonce's team didn't do anything, but they're most, both made by Cody, and I know the same team that runs Katy Perry's, like, social media also runs Beyonce's social media for fragrances. So, that's so why I haven't done indie. Um, also, I did No Shave November, and, girl, I looked rough. There was no way I was getting on this camera looking the way I did, uh, for No Shave November, because, yeah, that was bad. I'm never doing that again. That was so bad. Um, but... Other fun things, I do have some exciting stuff coming up. As you guys noticed, I started doing the, um, oh my god, what are those words called? Fragrance Knockout. I did like a mini series starting on my, uh, blog channel where I started with Fibula Juicy and Fantasy and did kind of a compare, to, uh, compare and contrast with those two fragrances. There will be newer versions of that coming soon, um... I recently, let me go grab it. Um, I recently did something a little bit different and out of the norm for me, and I actually purchased a fragrance completely blind, strictly based off of the notes of Fragrantica. Um, and it, I bought this um, New York Woman by Police. It's pure Police. This smells freaking amazing. It's got notes of cotton candy and apple, and it's just, it's one of those like. It's sweet, it's a slightly more fresh version of a sweet fragrance, um, but it almost has like a fantasy vibe, almost like a sweet, or a, 
pink sugar vibe, could not think of that word. Um, but it doesn't smell like either one of those fragrances, it's completely different. Um, I got this for under 20 bucks on eBay. I mean, I did end up getting a tester bottle, which isn't a big deal. Um, if you guys know tester bottles, it's just the box is different. The fragrance itself is the same. Sometimes they don't have a lid, but this one, like the sprayer sprays down the back like this. So it's going to have the lid. Um, but yeah, if you guys see this, go pick it up. It's a really good fragrance. Um, I thought about doing a separate series called, um, oh, what was I going to call it? I don't remember what I was going to call it now, and now I'm going to yawn. Um, but basically, I was going to start a YouTube, or another, ch um, series on my blog channel about, oh, Bargain to Bust. That's what I was going to call it. Basically, $20, about $20, $25 on a fragrance, completely blind buying it, based on the notes. Is it a bargain? Is it a bust? We'll find out. Um, uh, if that's something you guys would be interested in, let me know. I could definitely start that on the blog. Um, if you guys... I completely lost the one on hell I'm talking about with my blog. I do have a blog, uh, www.amongthestarsperfume.com. Um, there you guys, I've been posting blog stuff every now and again. Um, I think you guys got more active stuff in my break from YouTube on there than you did here. So, but it's just a fun way for you guys to interact with me. Um, I did launch my new Instagram, um, Orion Leo Studios, as you guys know. Um, I do do fa photography and graphic design, which is why we have my logo that I have and probably why we have this bottle the way we do. But that's a whole other issue if you guys want to get into that. Um, but I decided to, I've been, like, I've done photography myself for years. Um, that's why I started shooting my own photography pictures uh, for my thumbnails. But... It used to be photo booth photography, which was a fun, like, play on my last name. Um, but I felt like with doing photo booth photography, that would limit me to just photography. Um, so I decided to change the name to Orion Leo Studio, so that way I could encompass my graphic design as well and have it all in one house. Um, I have some new photography fun stuff coming that way. So if you guys don't follow me there, I just, just launched that, um... Go to my personal, my Among the Stars Instagram page, um, Among the Stars Perfume at inst on Instagram, and it should be one of the first posts up there. It should just show like a black picture says Orion Leo Studios. I believe I tagged myself in that, so you should be able to click on that, click on the tag, and go follow me from there. Otherwise, on Instagram, it's just Orion Leo Studios. Um, so there's that. I promise 2018 will be a lot better. Um, you guys are going to be getting a collection video soon. Um, I don't have it in here, but I recently got a Gear 360, which is like a 360 camera. Um, my friend ordered the Note 8 when it come out, and she got it as like a free gift, and she wasn't going to use it, so I used it. Um, so something I will be working on when I do the collection video will also be like a 360 picture of this room that you guys can spin around and look at. Um, any other junky stuff. You guys will be getting a review of today, Jennifer Aniston's Chapter 1, which I love this fragrance. This is the first time that she's changed the fragrance shape um, out of her six fragrances. You guys will also be getting a special video on the Viva La Juicy Eau de Par or Parfum Holiday Edition, so that will be coming today. Um, but just I would like to do more stuff on this channel. Um, I have always wanted to do just different stuff, so if you guys would like other stuff besides just perfume videos, and you guys would like me just to shit, sit down and shoot the shit with you guys, I can definitely do that. Um, I've wanted to do, like, singing videos, I've wanted to do story time videos, I've wanted to do just talky videos. Um, if you guys ever have any just dumb questions that you guys want me to answer, that you're like, oh, that's a dumb question, blah, blah, blah. No, ask questions. No questions, a dumb question, I'll answer everything. The official Fragrance Knockout videos will be starting in probably February, and I promise this time. There's one fragrance that I'm waiting on to get and review before I start the Fragrance Knockout series. Um, so, January, February, that area is when the official Fragrance Knockout series will start with a very special beginning. I feel like in order for me to do the fragrance knockout series, I need to start with this fragrance line. So, um, 
it may not be a fragrance that's new coming out, it just may be a fragrance I don't have. So, not going to give you guys any spoilers on who or what will be the first line to be a featured on Fragrance Knockout. Um, I had some other stuff to tell you guys. I will be back, I promise. Oh, there is two new Shakira fragrances coming out, or out already. Uh, it's Rock the Night, which also includes Shakira's first male fragrance. Uh, this would be technically her 26th and 27th, if you count the uh, like limited editions, which I personally do because I feel like we count them with Britney and we count them with other people. So, because you've got um, the summer she released Rock the Party, Crazy Lilac, and Daring Pink, which I still have not been able to get my hands on. Those things are the hardest goddamn Shakira fragrances to get your hands on. Um, but the new ones, Rock the Night for Women and Rock the Night for Men, same bottle. The men's one's like a dark blue or black from what I've seen for pictures, and then the female one's like a neon purple. Um, I'm going to try to get my hands on those. As you guys notice, there's a hole right here. Um, used to be the Vera Wang collection, which has now moved over there. Um, this room is a pit. Like, you guys can't tell, but there's shit right here, and there's shit over there, and there's more shit over there. Um... I'm in, was in the process of redoing, rearranging one of my other rooms. So, some of the extra shit that I didn't know where to put got put in here. So, um, other than that, I don't have a whole lot to tell you. That's kind of just like a crazy update video for you guys. Um, happy holidays. It's December. Holy shit, this year's gone by fast. It just blows my mind. Um, ooh, I also did get the new, it's, whew, um, it's got a, Sorbetto Risotto. I probably completely butchered that one. I probably will not do a full review on this. I might do one on my YouTube, on my Insta, through all of my social medias, we're going to say that, on my website first. Um, I don't know if I've ever actually done previously a full video on like the new ones, because last year we got PSS Shakoya. So, but this one is probably my one of my favorites. It's a really, 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 really good one. <laughs> Um, definitely worth the blind buy, definitely stronger on the watermelon. Um, other than that, not a whole lot to tell you. Update video, or collection video should be coming...